Today we're going to convert this boring ground beef into this. Hi everyone, you're watching Plating It With Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with ease. I've tried various beef croquet recipes and learned a lot of tips and tricks along the way. And today, I'm going to share my take of beef croquets with you. And I'm sure you're going to agree that these are the best. So let's get started. I've prepped all the ingredients, so now let's head over to the stove. To a heated deep skillet, we're going to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And now we're going to toss in one cup of chopped red onion. We're going to saute it till the onions turn translucent. After a few minutes, we're going to add in one bay leaf and four cloves. And we're going to continue sauteing for a little bit. To that, we're going to add in half a cup of finely chopped tomato. And we're going to saute it till the tomatoes turn a little soft. And for those earthy flavors, we're going to add in one teaspoon of finely chopped ginger and four cloves of garlic. And to spice it up, we're going to add one finely chopped green chili. We're going to saute this all together so the flavors get well combined. To that, we're going to toss in 500 grams of lean ground beef and 50 grams of chorizo. And using our wooden spoon, we're going to start breaking down the beef and the chorizo. And to bring out all the flavors, we're going to season it with salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and half a teaspoon of cumin powder. Let's saute this all together and continue to break down the beef. Once the beef and the chorizo is almost cooked, we're going to balance the flavors by adding in three tablespoons of vinegar and one and a half teaspoon of sugar. We're going to mix this together and allow it to continue cooking. And once it's cooked, we're going to remove the bay leaf and using a slotted spoon, we're going to separate the beef from the juices. And we're going to preserve the juices in the skillet to use later. Once the beef and the chorizo has cooled a bit, we're going to add it to a food chopper and blend it to a smooth paste. And this is the texture we're looking for. To the same skillet in which we had preserved the juices, we're going to add one third cup of all-purpose flour and we're going to cook it in the juices. We're trying to make a roux over here. And we're gradually going to add in one and a half cup of water to make a nice thick sauce, very much like a bechamel or a white sauce. This sauce is going to help to keep our croquets together while adding to the taste. I've tested this recipe before by using breadcrumbs and potatoes, but I find that this sauce is the real deal. It gives you that perfect texture for delicious croquets. And once you have a nice thick sauce, it's time to toss in the blended beef and chorizo mix. Now we're gonna give this a good mix and continue cooking it till it starts leaving the sides of the pan. These are a great make ahead snack that can be refrigerated before you form the croquets or after you form the croquets. And they can be fried just in time when you're ready to enjoy them. And we're going to finish it off by adding two tablespoons of finely chopped cilantro, which is going to give that lovely fresh flavor to our croquets. I've transferred the cooked beef into a big bowl. Now let's cover this with a plastic wrap and we're going to touch the plastic wrap right down to the surface because we do not want any water droplets falling on it due to condensation. Alrighty, let's place this in the refrigerator for one hour so that it gets a chance to cool and firm up before we form the croquets. To form the croquets, let's start by making the egg wash. For that, we're going to go in with one egg. And to that, we're going to add about one tablespoon of water. I'm going to give this a quick whisk to break down the egg. I'm 
Okay, we've got a workstation all set up. So we're going to do scoop, dip, dip, roll. I'm going in with using a trigger release ice cream scoop just to get them of an even size. Just going to roll it between the palms of our hands for a cylindrical shape. And now to get some even ends, we're going to just press it down against the board on both sides. We're going to roll it in the all-purpose flour and this is going to give it a nice dry surface which is going to help the egg to catch on evenly on the croquet. We're going to roll it between our fingers to dust off any excess flour. Next we're going to dunk it into the egg wash. And using a fork we're just going to roll it around so that it gets an even coat of the egg wash all around. Making sure to get the sides too. Now we're going to lift it up and drain off any of the excess egg wash. And now it's time to roll it in the breadcrumbs. We're just going to put some on the top and cover it around. And now roll, roll, roll. And there you have your perfectly shaped beef croquet. Now it's time to fry these up. We're going to heat a skillet halfway full with oil. To check if the oil has reached the right temperature, we're going to drop in a few breadcrumbs and if they float to the top, we are ready to go. We're gently going to place the croquets in the heated oil and occasionally flip them so that they get crispy and golden brown on all sides. And once they're fried, we're going to lift them up, drain off the excess oil, and place them on a plate lined with a paper towel. Oh my goodness! Look at that! These look so appetizing, I can't wait to give them a taste. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this one. Mmm! Seriously guys, you've got to try this recipe for beef croquets. It's simply delicious. Hey guys, if you love my recipes and enjoy my videos but haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe. And if you hit on that bell icon, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And while you're at it, hit on that like button and leave me your comments below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.